everyone Mr. Terminal here. In this video we are looking into deploying WordPress server on Ubuntu 20.04 on Google Cloud Platform. So we are going to use the marketplace and we get tons of things with this image including the WordPress server. And we have the list, we have the MariaDB server, we have the Apache web server, let's encrypt, webmin GUI, PHP and of course been unlimited by SQL databases. So yeah, it has its own pricing, which will vary according to your country. Like you will get some more options to configure your deployment name, which could be anything you want, the zone you want to launch in. I'm going for as much as defaults as I can. Buddhist, that is fine for demo. Allow all these, these are all ports needed by this server. So if you're manually deploying it, you will have to enable these ports but as of now this is all pre-managed don't worry about these and let's just go ahead and deploy and it will take you to the deployment manager which will show you what's been de deployed so far so let's skip the video until this is done just to revise it again these are all firewalls rules created so you don't have to worry about these and setting this up this is everything is done for you that's the advantage of launching it from the marketplace our instance is being created yeah that would be the next step let's wait until it's done great our deployment is done and our vm is done let's go to the vm itself Once we are at the VM, what you want to do is connect to it, right? Okay. So we want to SSH into it so we can configure our stuff. Google pro provides an uh, inbuilt browser, so that's really handy. Once we are in it, what we want to do is configure our MySQL for WordPress. So these commands are provided in the article. Please look into the description. So you don't have to copy. You can just simply copy paste these and get done with it. Enter the password for root set root password yes um, set it up whatever you wish so can go no I should have gone for uh, yes front users that would have been fine yes yes uh, that's our c configuration for it and what we want to do is open up the MySQL with root user so simply go with sudo mysql we are inside the mariadb so we are going to create a database called wordpress db once our database is created we want to create a mysql user for the wordpress database create user call it WordPress user at localhost any password which you feel is secure enough this is just a demo so I'm just going with my password
And we are gonna give this permission. User all privileges. Just to iterate again, all these commands are provided in the description. Once that done, we are going to flush the privileges. And exit. What you want to do next is configure the Apache web server. So for that, you need to go to this file. Here we are going to edit few lines. Go down. To, you can open it with whatever editor you prefer. Server name is going to be your domain, but since I don't have a domain, I'm going to use my IP address. Right. So it basically, as it says, it should be your site.com or whatever so I I have copied the external IP of my instance but this is just in my case because I don't have a domain you need to add a domain here and an alias here and once that's done you can save the file and we have to enable the site in Apache to do that again Enter these commands. Yeah, we can do that all together. Let's just after you have done this, you can restart. Apache server. Great. And lastly, we want to give the Apache user ownership of the WordPress directory. That's our WordPress directory. Right. Perfect. We are now ready to start the WordPress installation. Let's begin. To begin the WordPress installation, we would be going to the external IP. Just enter it. Or you would be going to your domain, whatever the case be. And yeah, we're going to continue with our installation. Let's go. Now, remember our database name was WordPress DB. Username is the one we set in the database. That was a WordPress user. And our password was my password. Host is localhost. This is fine. Let's go. Run the installation. Test for cloud infrastructure services. This could be anything. Let's copy this. Once you do that, you will get a login page and enter the same details you entered there and you should be able to log in. And that's it. Your WordPress is working perfectly fine and everything is accessible.
Yep, that's our site. Next, what we want to look at is Webmin. Webmin is used to manage server. It's a great GUI to manage your server. It comes pre-installed with this image and allows you to manage your server via web protocol. How do we access it? We go to the public IP of our instance again. My bad. That's our public IP. And we go to the port 10,000 and you should get a login page. Now this is maybe configured. This is a username and password of your server. So Windows is on now, so all you need to do is get into sudo mode and in the user is root what you want to do is set the password for root and this will work here <clears throat> and this should load up and first thing you want to do is setting up the FTP users with pro FTPD so in servers I cannot see it first you want to refresh modules once you refresh modules and see this kind of page you can go to servers and you would find pro FTB server, right? And here we want to set up a directory. Go to files and directories. So instead of default, you want to do is pick up the directory of WordPress. That's what we want to use as the initial login directory. And rest of the configurations I think are okay. Today's workloads defaults. Okay, perfect. Yeah, all of the other settings are perfectly fine. Just save this. Once directory is created, we want to create users. So we can go to systems and there is a good last option of users and groups and you would see a create a new user option that's where we want to go we want to create a new user let's call him john and user id could be automatic could be something that we create real name is also john home directory is automatic shell is sign and we can give him a password something not so clever for the demo it could be whatever you want of course and password options never change. You can tweak them if you want. Group membership, no. Okay, existing group is users, but that's okay. We have all these groups. Create a home directory, yes. Copy a template file. So of course, this is just a demo. You can tweak it according to what you need. And we're just going to create that user. And we would, should see the user we created. That's right there. So we have this user created that verifies it. Lastly, what we want to do is give this user John access to our WordPress directory. This is going to happen from our shell. So yeah, we can be root while we do that. Let me just accept the root one so that it doesn't confuse people. Simple ownership commands, username is don't forget it's John. And the directory you want to give access to is WordPress. That's it. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any doubts, please feel free to comment. Again, everything is mentioned in the description. Thanks for watching.